All right, hey everyone, this is one that is long, long overdue. There were probably several videos today, so if you're subscribing, you get multiple notifications. My apologies, but it's for a very, very good cause. Uh, chasing your tail, the uh, the Python code that I wrote years ago to kind of help you tell if you were being followed and it blew up and black hat and featured and wired, etc. It definitely needed a facelift, right? This code was written long before AI and it worked, but yeah, it's... It, Definitely, definitely needs a facelift. So someone reached out to me, a former uh, student, saying that they tried to get it running on a Raspberry Pi 5 and can't. And I'm like, you know what? Let me get the Pi 5 hardware. Let's do this from scratch and let's make this right. And next step is to improve the code. So I cut a video the other day showing this. First things first is install Kismet. And honestly, once Kismet is installed on the system, you're home free. Yeah, I mean, the hardest part is done. So also, real quick, one thing that's easy that we don't have to do before, VNC it into the Raspberry Pi 5 right now. But if you run IWconfig, we see all we have is the wireless zero, the WLAN zero, the built-in Wi-Fi, and then one, the USB Wi-Fi. It's not in monitored mode though, but we don't need to put it there. Kismet will automatically do it for this. So as I said in the other video, I ran through the steps to install Kismet. Everything worked. Compiling it took literally over an hour. I was hoping it would go quicker on the Raspberry Pi 5, but it did not. Um, once Kismet is installed, here's the modifications that I uh, that I made. And these are slightly different from the old original steps, and I'll document these. I created a new Chasing Your Tail repository that uh, it currently exists and should be populated by the end of the day. So I um, the Kismet Conf, we uh, go in here, US user local Etsy kismet.conf, and we added in this right here source equals WLAN 1, right? Pointing it at that USB. It's an alpha Wi Fi card, the same one I was using a couple of years ago when I first did this. Made a directory. Um, the username is Matt, not Pies in the original. So made a directory called Kismet Logs under my user folder right there. And now, we see we edit the USR local Etsy Kismet underscore logging dot conf and we add log we added this log prefix equals this or by default log prefix is just whatever directory you're in. Now we're actually specifying, hey Kismet, we want you to write the logs to home mat Kismet logs, and we'll show you why here in a second. So as you see here, WLAN, we don't have anything in monitor mode, but now if we open up another terminal window, we run Kismet following through the steps on the, uh, the Kismet GitHub, it, um, it will automatically put it in monitor mode for us. You see it makes an interface right up there, uh, WLAN 1 mon. Right, and so it's working. We can see the uh, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, everything like that. So Kismet is running in there. And if we come here, IW config, we can see the WLAN mon is up. So we don't have to worry about uh, bringing it up ourselves. Once we add it as a source in Kismet, we're good to go. It just does it all for us. Now, if we actually here look, let's bring this up under our home folder we see the kismet logs and this is what we're looking for right just a um it's a little bit view the list view there we go yeah so the dot kismet file and you're like what in the heck is a dot kismet file it's actually a sqlite database we can read it we can actually generate pcaps from it it's got a great great granular detail and this is what we're actually going to be pulling from right kismet itself takes care of all the um the capturing of the wireless information from wi-fi bluetooth whatever we want to load in and then our python code just parses this live and doing it and parsing a, a sqlite database live is considered suboptimal. I ran this so much in testing, never had an issue with it. None of my friends using it ever had an issue with it. And so I'm not too worried about that, but that is what the code is gonna run. So that said, I did a tiny bit of massaging because we have a different um, user uh, than we did before. Originally it was Pi and the one I wrote now is user Matt. So I had to change the um, Python a tiny bit to account for the new directory. But other than that, CYT, chasing your tail, CYT, we go 
python3 tracing our tail.py, we can see that the code is actually running, right? I let this run a, a few minutes ago before I restarted the system to kind of uh, go fresh from this video, but the chasing your tail code does function. Like I said, it needs a heavy facelift and that's what I'm getting ready to uh, do to it right now. Cursor, if you've been watching any of my videos or heard me talk about it, everyone knows Cursor is what I use for uh, for coding now. I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, Cursor does not have a Linux ARM compatible build. I know some people have hacked to try to get it going, uh, but honestly, the path of least resistance is just to do it from your host and SSHN. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to use a cursor. We're going to make some improvements. We'll kind of document those and go through, and then I will post it in the uh, new repository. And so everyone who wants to use a clean start, cleaner install, and everything. So yeah, basically, get a Raspberry Pi 5 or whatever Raspberry Pi you have should work fine. Um, Get a Wi-Fi card that can go into monitor mode, the, the alphas, etc., and get Kismet up and running on it. Because when Kismet is up and running and you're seeing wireless fine, like I said, the hard part should be done. So now to, uh, I'll call this video, we'll fire up cursor, and we'll uh, we'll start trying to make some improvements. Thank you.